Hi Team 330, I hope you're doing well and running on great coffee. In this 330M Solution Series video, I want to talk to you about developing a vulnerability dashboard that reviews data from exports created by a scanner that needs to be reported to management. Requirements to secure data can be self-imposed, come from a regulatory requirement, and or be industry specific. Vulnerability scanning and reporting is one component of a holistic information security program. Power BI has the capability to get data from multiple sources and display the resource data in a format that is easy to consume. Our source today is a Microsoft Excel file. In this use case, the Ask by Management was a dashboard that needed to display the vulnerabilities discovered by date a slicer that allows them to review the data by date, a tree map that breaks down the data by device group, the number of devices scanned on a specific day, and last, a breakdown of the vulnerabilities by severity. On my screen, we see in the top left quadrant the breakdown by scan date, right here. If we use our mouse to hover over January 5th, we see there is a total of 2,345 vulnerabilities reported on that day. If we click on workstations in the tree map, over here in the top right quadrant, we'll see that our dashboard re-renders and that we have a total vulnerability count of 10,257. That's over the entire 15-day period that we have in our scan results. If we come over to our slicer for date, and we move down to January 5th only. We will have only the vulnerability information for January 5th. We'll see that we have 900 vulnerabilities on the workstation. We have 261 devices that were scanned, and we'll note that all of our vulnerabilities were rated as a high by severity. There are multiple methods for displaying data. These are just a couple options available to us through Power BI. Please contact 330M Technologies for more information about Microsoft Office 365 and Power BI. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to keep striving for greatness.